in Northwest Montana. Don't forget your gloves. Can't forget my gloves. See ya. I'll be back. All right. Tom Orr's fur business is humming this winter, thanks to his partnership with Sean McAfee. Well, looks like a nice day, Kevin. But the veteran trapper hasn't hung up his traps just yet. All right. Checking my traps is the first thing I do most every day after I've coffeeed up. The daily check of his trap line is a task Tom has completed thousands of times since moving here with his wife, Nancy, in 1977. But even after 46 years, each morning still carries the thrill of possibility. It's always something exciting about going to check your traps to see if, if you're going to be successful or not. To think that in a couple of weeks, I'll be turning 80. I'm still tickled that I could do what I do, you know? I've been trapping these ponds for years. This is one of the places where I catch most of my beaver. With an ample supply of wood that beaver feed on, like willow and poplar, colonies in the Yak Valley multiply quickly. Go check some traps. The fur is prime in the winter and fetches top dollar. There's the lodge, that hump on the bank over across the pond there. That's where the beavers actually live. But since beaver are not as active in the cold, they're harder to catch. When it gets real cold like this, they stay pretty close to the den. All right, here's the first two traps, and they're empty. I'm pretty used to seeing lots of empty sets, because that's what trap it is. All right. Got another set back in here. <laughs> hey, we got one. Today, Tom's hit a career high. This is one of the biggest beavers I think I've ever caught. I bet it's 55 pounds. They're not often that big. So it was exciting to see. All right. Hoping that this trap will keep producing for weeks to come, Tom's resetting in the same spot. And we want to get the safeties off. Now it's a live trap. It's ready to go. You got to be real careful. Nesting the trap inside a wood frame will make it easier to reach if the water should freeze overnight. Let me put a little bit more lure on that trap. It's kind of got snow covered there. This is the caster lure that I use. Beavers have a gland in their belly and they mark their territory by coming up on the land and, and excreting a little bit of that beaver caster onto the bank. That's how they tell other beavers that this is already occupied. It's one of the best ways to catch beavers because they're just so attracted to it. Boy, this is a big old beaver, I'll tell you. This is like Christmas. Even in deepest winter, Montana's Yak Valley teams with wildlife. We got another trap or two to check yet. And Tom's doubling down on everything he can possibly catch at this time of year. When you're water trapping like that, you're also in the weasel environment because they hang around the water a lot, too. So you might as well have a few traps out for them at the same time. You got nothing here. He set 10 traps in all and so far has just one prize. Got another set back in here. 
But even though most are coming up empty today, there's always tomorrow. I've slowed down, I guess, quite a bit, really, when you think of what I was doing 20 years ago. But yet, I'm pretty happy with the life that we live. Who could ask for more than that, you know? It's been a long time, been, been living here for 45 years doing this trapping thing. And I love doing this stuff, so I'm gonna try to keep doing it for as long as I can. And, and I've got a 80 year old birthday coming up. I'm gonna be 80 years old. Uh, time really flies when you're having fun. Um, next thing on the schedule is to go home and start skating. One beaver. On the Orr homestead. Well, this is a big old beaver, I'll tell you. There's only one catch today, but it's one of the most impressive Tom's ever pulled in. Right. Once Tom works all the parts into crafts, a typical adult beaver fetches about $300. But weighing in at a whopping 55 pounds, this one animal is worth nearly double. 